Hello and welcome to Citizen Tube this week, coming to you live from San Bruno, California, here at the YouTube headquarters. Uh, well, actually not live, I'm going to be taping this and then uploading it later. But we are excited to take a look again at news and politics happening here on YouTube. And we'll start off today with a look at the YouTube's 08 platform, where all the U.S. presidential candidates are uploading videos to YouTube. You know, it's interesting. Some of the bigger name candidates get a lot of attention for the videos they're posting to YouTube. But it's some of the lesser known candidates who are doing, well, some of the more interesting things in the site. Let's take Mike Gravel. He has posted a video to YouTube called simply Rock, in which he stares into the camera for a minute and 11 seconds in complete silence and then throws a rock into the water and walks away. The video has over 100,000 views on YouTube and it has pleased some and confused others like Shelby Highsmith, who made this parody in which he mimics Gravel's actions and then returns to the camera to ask the question that many of us wanted the answer to. What the f*** was that? Well, the Gravel campaign delivered that answer in an 11-minute video they posted to their channel explaining the origins of the video. But first off, they're not ads. They're not political ads at all. These two young teachers in Southern California, they teach art and technology. They said, look, we saw the senator on the, in the debates. We saw him interviewed. We want to photograph him and do something with him. They want you to throw a rock in the water. And so I thought, well, that makes sense. It does. It's a metaphor from their perspective, not my perspective. You know, I'd be prone like any other politician. I want to make a statement. No, no. What they want is a metaphor of an ordinary citizen who acts in an unusual, extraordinary way. Well, in the world of YouTube commercials this week, Smart Power announced the winner of their competition for a clean energy commercial here on YouTube. After nine months and 143 videos, they selected the user Shepiano as the winner. Can I get a half a stick of butter? Cutting back on phone calls, a very small way to conserve energy from fossil fuels. Well, on the heels of the immigration debate in Washington this week, YouTube users have been posting their thoughts on the issue here to the site. Like this video from user John Hickey, who proves that sometimes the simplest videos can be the most member powerful. Of the species Homo sapiens. This is Carlos, a member of the species Homo sapiens. They both live on a landmass called North America. 150 years ago, other members of the species Homo sapiens drew lines on a map. Carlos would like to cross the line into the United States. Paul doesn't want Carlos to cross the line into the United States. Paul wants to build a fence to keep Carlos from crossing the line. Carlos and his family are hungry. On the other side of the issue, a YouTube user named Newt posted this video about immigration to YouTube on Tuesday, and within 24 hours, it had become the number six viewed video on the site. Our borders remain open to gangs, drug dealers, and terrorists. But instead of protecting the borders, the new McCain-Kennedy immigration plan will put millions of people who are in our country illegally, including potential terrorists and gang members, on a path to U.S. citizenship. Newt, of course, is former Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich, who has already shown an incredible ability and interest in using YouTube for politics. He's posted a contest to the site. He did a video in Spanish to speak to Hispanic voters. If he throws his hat in the presidential ring this fall, like many suspect that he will, his 27 videos will be a great start to a YouTube strategy. And finally, it's time for our Citizen of the Week Award. Last week it went to Davis Fleetwood, who followed up with a command performance by driving 10 hours to the Kucinich headquarters to interview the congressman for his YouTube channel. So it's got to say something about this next 08 election when a guy with a $250 camera in a basement shooting videos for two months can have a sit down with a presidential candidate. The grassroots of this campaign are made of ones and zeros. Well, this week the award goes to Madogza, or Mad Dogza. I'm not really sure how you say it, but his real name is Trevor, and he made a great video this week about world peace, which was featured on the homepage of YouTube on Thursday.
that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. And remember to submit your questions for the presidential candidates at youtube.com slash debates for the CNN YouTube debates coming up uh, on July 23rd in Charleston, South Carolina. Thanks.